with my crocodile teeth. All right, five, crocodile teeth. four, hey. three, hey. two, one. And welcome to talk about the number one show of the underground radio. Span one, two, threes over here. But this is um, Talk About With Us, and I'm your host, Us. And today's a righteous day here in good old Hollywood, Florida. Um, we got a couple of my boys, childhood friends, um, entrepreneurs. Um, I don't like to overhype too much people because I let them talk about themselves. But And I also don't want to make it seem like I, I favoritize these people just because they're my close friends. But <laughs> um, go ahead and introduce yourself, guys, as your handler name and all that good stuff. Who wants to start it? All right, guys. Steak and Riddle here. You know who hey. it is. If you're from Dania Beach, it's Tyler with... Uh, Evan, yes. Dania Beach all day. Hey. So um, we were talking about this earlier. We were from the original DBL crew. If you don't know what DBL means, it's um, Dania Beach locals. There was a one point that the only people that went to Dania Beach were just the local kids and the local people. And shit, there was not even old people out there. No. <laughs> now there's fucking full families and yeah. A whole lot, of, a whole lot of not skimming. Yeah, back when we were kids, was, that was our culture, the skim culture. Yeah, man, they had that beach all torn up the other day. Did they? Yeah, it was like wave or uh, sand wall like this high. No Good way. Name. But I mean, the, I feel like the beach is dredging out heavily yeah. now. Yeah. But um, to start off the show, I always like to start off the show to kind of like um let like talk a little about background, introduce you guys selves a little bit. And then we get into the other topics and all that good stuff. And then on this episode, guys, we actually, it's our first time recording. We, um, these guys, well, as you're going to find out, they're chefs of the, of the was it a hot top? Was it, was it kind of, what do you guys use to cook? A flat top. A flat top. Flat top. You know, the masters of flat top there cooking you over here, I you know? I like that, I like that. So um, <laughs> we're also going to have a little, a little cook, not a cookout, but they're going to cook it up for us. And um, yeah, but besides that, so you guys are originally from? Raised in your beach. Local? Always. Born and bred? No, not, not born. born, but bred for sure. Bred for sure, yeah. not born. That's where we grew up, though. Yeah. I hear that, I hear that. And yes. then, um, I know we talked a little bit about the beach, but I met you guys technically through skating. Yeah. Because you guys are big skater. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I know this motherfucker, I remember one time you told me a story that um, we were young as fuck, and I was already out of high school, and he was like, yo, I was there at that hurricane, and AJ beat up that kid. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you yes. fucking were there? Yes. But that was a long time ago. That was back in, um, I want to say, like, Damn. what, hurricane? Dude, what was that? It was it was the hurricane Wilma? where, like, the first couple days of school were off, because I remember that never yeah. happened before. Yeah. <laughs> yo, when you told me that story, I was like, Damn, because at that time, I was already graduated out of high school. Bro, but yes. it was crazy, because it was like, this kid we used to call Meepo, and yeah. Yeah. AJ, AJ was such a dick all the time. <laughs> slammed them on the beach in the middle of a hurricane we haven't even paddled out yet bro and it was like straight nonsense it was like ah oh. that was funny i would never forget that day too because meepo was like yo you're not gonna stand up for me he's like bro i don't know why the fuck you get beat up every time we go outside yeah he slammed them decent yeah but that was an interesting session bro you paddled yeah. out like two miles down oh. and by the time you're out you're already gone. at the pier yeah. I remember yes. I smashed into the pier that day. And the board yeah. saved you, man. Yeah, because AJ took one in and I couldn't catch it one, so I had to try to shoot the pier and I smashed right into the pillar. It was sick. The board Honestly, like went between you, didn't yeah. it? It ripped yeah. up your board. Yeah. Honestly, like back in the days when Dania used to really go off, the pier would literally save your life. You would either surf the north side, the south side, yep. depending on the wind. Yep. So you can just literally catch yourself because mm -hmm. you will end up at a whole so, nother fucking city, bro. <laughs> like that. I remember <laughs> when I surfed Hurricane Katrina. We, that's when the pier actually broke down. Yeah, I remember and, that. And um, we were jumping off the pier. But the cool thing is that we would catch a wave right at the point of the pier, right at the end. And the wave would literally take you all the way to Johnny Lloyd. Yeah. And we would have to walk all the way by the jetty's back. Bro. And you'd only catch one wave. Yeah. And you'd be all the way down. Yeah, there. yeah. And there's like, you're literally catching like one or two waves. And then walking all the way back, which is probably like close to two fucking miles. To paddle out in that <laughs> Yeah, and I was 15 years old. I was probably like 140 fucking pounds soaking wet. That's that South Just, Florida surf, though. It's yeah. like, you got to get it. The waves don't come often. So when yeah, they when are there, you better go get it. No, nah, and honestly, <laughs> one, and one day I always remember is fucking May 8th of 2008. You guys Why? remember that? Because mm -mm. Dania was breaking the perfect. perfect. The perfect. There's barrel. pictures of it yeah. still online. Still to this day. It's perfect. <laughs> it was yeah. a perfect barrel right on Dania Beach yep. and all that. But um, like I said, I met you guys through skateboarding and all that. Yeah. I remember one time when I was starting that fucking that skate crew. Yeah, the, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. And then we're trying to get the competition yeah, going yeah. over at at Free Park, Justice Park. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. just it's crazy. Like finally to be able to, we're gonna get our concrete park pretty soon. They say right. 
We'll see. We'll see. I Did thought you see? we were, I thought they already nominated and all it's that. It's in motion it, as far I know as it's I in know. motion, but then I just saw uh the other day that the Hard Rock. They're building a skate park in the Hard Rock. Yeah, so I saw that and I asked J Ramps about it and I asked him, is it public or it's gotta be private, I would think. For who? It, I don't know. I mean those uh, yeah. Seminoles probably skate, bro. I wouldn't uh, doubt yeah. it. That's... But the thing is, like, it's crazy if they make because I did see it said Hard Rock Casino Skate Park. And mm-hmm. and you seen the pillar was the colors. Yeah. It was red, black, yeah, yeah. and yellow. Somewhere. But another thing, it was also in like one of those um like those pavilions. Because oh, they had like the okay. like you know how like bird yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird skate park. Yeah, it has yeah, that yeah. little overhang. Yeah. So it almost has the same overhang. So I was like, bro, do they have this in like the reserve? Might be. Yeah, he didn't. Honestly, he didn't answer me, but there's mm. no way he's not. I don't know. I thought we we're just waiting for like the permitting and getting the crew because I thought we got it finally accepted. I think that's it. true. Well, I think I know, it's just yeah. slow getting to it, actually. Just like that bureaucratic we were on thing. the calls when they were doing the calls with the city. Yeah. And I think they did approve it all. Because another thing, I already saw the. They already proved the design. Oh, they had the okay. design. I, I seen the picture of the yeah. design. Yeah, and I think they already have those in like in downtown, like in the city hall. They oh, got that's it. dope. Okay, but no, it's definitely dope to finally have a skate park. Wish we would have had it when we were kids. I know. Now that I can't, but, yeah, <laughs> can't even skate anymore. Yeah, it's like it's almost like do I skate or do I not work for the whole month? Exactly, because exactly. you like, know you're gonna be sore. You're gonna no, be hurt. not even sore, bro. <laughs> like especially you guys, because I was more of a surfer, but dude, try one of those tricks that you guys used to do and that's it, land mm-hmm. on your wrist or something. Mm-hmm. Like how many times have you heard yourself skateboarding? Bro, bro. More than you can count. Yeah. More than you can count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And it's like at this point it's like do you really risk that shit? Yeah, no. <laughs> you gotta really love the shit. Yeah. <laughs> so um besides like a little bit back history, so like what made you guys finally decide that you wanted to do the steak business? <clears throat> I mean, it originally started as us trying to figure out what we could do. We hang out every day anyway. Yeah, you yeah. know, we've known each other for twenty five years. What can we do to to not just party? You know? Okay. And uh what can we do to try to make some money? And we just started putting a little money aside before really anything. We were just brainstorming ideas and we were thinking like a hot dog cart. Okay. Something small, no overhead, you know. And uh, after what, another six months to a year, just thinking hot dog cart, putting money away, it turned into <laughs> steak sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Because then, Tyler's background is food. So that's yeah. really where the essence, so he has that that knowledge, right? So, so where you technically pull that from? The food? Yeah. I got a job when I was 14 as a dishwasher in a restaurant okay. and I just fell in love with it and just okay, okay, never okay. left, you know, I it's just all that. I've ever done. So, I um, I really enjoy it, you know, no, dude. And especially like me, my first, like my first encounter of even working in the kitchen, because my first real job was at boomers oh, and yeah. I was a fucking party host. Yeah. And then it's funny. Cause at that time everyone was like, why the, f-? I was the only guy that was a party host. Cause no that way. was a girl job. But I was like, bro, all these fucking moms come here with their kids it's like, what the fuck? I might as well just fucking literally like flirt with the moms head and like make money straight yeah. pimping out. And I'll be every party, $100, $150 yeah. tips. Yeah. And all the girls like, I only made 30 bucks. You're such a bitch. <laughs> and then all the kids like me because they were like doing, I did fucking funny ass shit yeah. with them. Bro, so after that, I left um, Boomers because it's just, I eventually, like after a summer, because that's when Boomers still had the little water park. I can't too. believe Boomers is gone. Like I still, it's like, damn. Bro, they gave away that roller coaster for free. Did they really? As long as you picked it up, which I think is insane. <laughs> like, yo, come pick up the roller coaster so <laughs> for free. Just, you know, pick up all the bolts, all the fucking that's thousand funny. pound logs of wood. That. Yeah, that, I remember the ad. It was literally on Craigslist. Did somebody actually pick it up? I'm sure a company did. A yeah. The cool thing is like, imagine if you had just mad property. Yeah, and you at, you're a trucker, your bro. Personal, and you just like slowly roller. build a roller coaster, because wooden roller coasters people don't know wooden roller coasters are actually fast, faster than metal roller coasters. Really? Because I did not know that. Because it's all through like kinetic energy. So like once it's peaking speed, it's peaking speed. There's no hydraulics. Um, the only way it slows down. It's by faster another, than the Hulk. I don't know if the hur- hurricane hours. Oh, wooden right. roller coaster. <laughs> wooden roller coasters are known to be faster than an actual. They can't flip word. though. Right. No, they can't. Yeah, they can't. No, that'd be too because crazy. I don't. I feel like the high, the cliffs. Like this is just like train tracks, bro. <laughs> yeah, right. But I remember back in the days when boomers like when the what was it called the hurricane? The hurricane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was called the hurricane. That's yeah. It's been around for a minute yeah. too. Bro, a lot of friends. Bro, that was their first job. Their boy Bobby. Like a few yeah, people. They, that was their first job. But I remember uh, when they the go karts. Yeah. That was, but yo, when I first moved out here, uh, the go karts was Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember, and it was yeah. the Grand Prix coins, yes, and it was yes, only the arcade. Yes. 
That was, it was just that, bro. That shit was dope, and you would have to walk through that hot ass parking lot <laughs> all the just, way down, yeah, dude. <laughs> just to get. And like, I was like, bro, kids would die here, <laughs> like walking through parking lots to get from the arcade to the Grand Prix. But I remember, so after that, I worked at Don Carter's. Don and Carter's. Don Carter's is actually Spurs. And Spurs is now the bowling alley on University. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I live right across the street from Okay, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually worked there when it was still MacArthur Farms, and the fucking dealership wasn't even there yet. Mm. So oh. it was called Don Carter, and they changed it to Spurs, and now it's called... Spares. Spares. Spares, Spares. Spares yeah. Yeah, Spares. That's and what then, threw me off. What is in Davy? So Spares. Yeah, and then yeah. the old... That there's another sense. one in, like, Oakland Park University that got bought out by the same people as Daniel Point, the um, bowlers. Bol- Bolero, 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 yeah. Bolero. Bolero. weird Bolero, ass fucking right? name. Yeah, but um, but yeah. So once I got into there, bro, I actually started working in the kitchen. Like I would work parties in the kitchen, and then, bro, I was making fucking. My favorite thing at that time was making those buffalo chicken wraps. Okay. And ever since then, I was like, bro, I love cooking. Isn't it? It's and like it's after you're done putting it on the plate, like yeah. seeing it, it's just awesome. I don't know what it is. And well, so yeah. what? How, how long did it take you to convince this guy to do it? I know I you mean, were doing your shirts and shit. Yeah, well, that was the thing. Like, I was in a lull because I wasn't doing the shirts anymore. So I had no business, no project. And it, I mean, I know, as you can imagine, like not having a project, you go fucking yeah. nuts. Like, I need something to work on. And like, we've known each other for so many years. You know, he's got a kid, so we don't see each other as much. So it's like, mm-hmm. what's an excuse to hang out? Yeah as well as monetize our friendship in a way. You know what I'm saying? And I love business. Like, that's like my passion. So it's like, this man loves food. I love business. We're, we're homies. So it's like, how do we monetize like his you were pretty knowledge? You companies too when you are What's up? You would do other people's prints too. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, my- full t-shirt company. Exactly. Exactly. So that was what I was doing. And then, so I just needed something. We needed something. So, yeah. and then here, and then it's just being creative. It's just fucking yeah. fun, dude. Business mm-hmm. is just fun. It's like, yeah. like we're talking about skating before. It's like skating- but with money, with money, because it's like <laughs> that's it's like how do you get the same feeling from skating? But I know I'm not making it as a pro skater, so but it's yeah. the same essence, just but like any creative crazy, endeavor. The crazy thing is, and I'm not talking about like, so not every sponsor or pro is a Nigel Houston, oh, so, or not everyone's a Kelly Slater, but like a lot of like the regular sponsored athlete. Bro, we honestly make more money than they do sometimes. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. That's and why it's, it's a real passion project. Yeah. You better really love that shit. It is, because shit. another thing is, like, I was thinking about it the other day, because, like, when I was a kid, I was, like, getting ready to get sponsored. I was chilling with all the fucking um, Lords of Dogtown motherfuckers back in mm-hmm. Venice. And then I started working at Anderson Surf Shop. My boy Ricky was going to get me all ready. But then I think about it. It's like, bro, some we do, like, sponsorship is just getting clothes on discounts. I have homeboys that are, like, DGK mm-hmm. and Supreme. Yeah. And all they do is they resell their shit exactly. to make exactly. money. So it's like... Honestly, as a kid, it sounds dope to be signed and sponsored. Hell yeah. Or get like 800 like bucks a month as a 15-year-old. Yeah. sounds yeah. sick. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the money that we make now with our personal business is more than a sponsor makes them. Oh, and it's sure. fucking oh, yeah. legit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's the game, right? It's like, how do you monetize that feeling, though, of like yeah. that hobby or whatever the fuck? Yeah, that's and one that's, thing I can tell. You know? Like, knowing you guys since we were all kids, oh, you know? yeah. We all had that dream. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And we were really something. out there no, trying yeah. to trying yeah, to do the shit. You can't knock. You can't knock us of being part of the culture, bro. No. Yeah. No, like, that was our whole lives yeah. for That's since like did, ten yeah. years old. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and especially being from like East Hollywood area, bro. Like, mm-hmm. especially in our childhood, we were a skate surf town. Oh, hun- yeah. dude. Like, yeah. And it's crazy because another thing, we're also it's it's a hood ass neighborhood. Exactly. So it's like that's it was why it's like it hits <laughs> on so many levels. It's the best. That's why yeah. I wouldn't want to grow up any any other okay, way. It was great. Like even like bro, South Broward was such a dope high school because like Sick. bro, we were a mile and a half away from the beach. I had so much fun there, bro. Yes. Yeah, and then by the time the by the time Shit. I was even graduating, they accepted sandals, bro. For real? Well, I was never, I was, I was never a sandal guy. No, if you're no, wearing yeah, thong we were, sandals, that's a no, uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but I was a surfer. <laughs> All right, word. Okay. So yeah, back yeah. then, like, bro, I remember we were too hood for nah, thong sandals. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Hell no! Nah. All my friends were hood as fuck, and we yeah. still wear song, bro, thong sandals all day. When the, like, reefs, the reefs came out with the yeah. bottle opener yeah. on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. All day. We don't even do a lot of drink beer. Hanging out at Surf World, I was like, oh, those pork chop and shit. Yeah, pork chop, bro. We still reminisce. We were Groms back in the day, and he put us on. You know what I mean? Pork chop was our like with the skate crew. Like he was like that first skate shop like yeah. person to like. I remember really... when um, back in the days, pork shop used to hook me and Matt Henry up with um, dude, yeah, Pat man. boys, Pat boys, um, stick pads. 
oh, for yeah, the yeah, skateboards. Because yeah. back then you started skimming and then you got into mm-hmm. surfing. Mm-hmm. Some some people didn't even make it past the skateboarding, but yeah. skateboarding was the that shit. Was so Dude, that fun. was uh, when we would all meet up at Dania and we would just be like 10, bro, 15 of us was, just bro, catching that, wave after that wave. That break was so sick because if you think about it, there was a point right up to like where the pillars like you can't touch. We used to touch under there. Yeah. And now you can't touch it at all. Yeah. That's how much no, the yeah. beaches ate that spot. Yeah, it sucks. And it used to break like head high on shore. <laughs> and like perfect little fucking lips. Bro, that place used to have like 15 kids skimming it every is, yeah. day. All the time. Every day. Shout out little Dylan back rap barrels. Yeah, hey. these Dilly, little yeah. Dylan. Yeah. It's funny because he actually wrote me not too long ago fucking about a tattoo, but I haven't seen him in a minute. Yeah, mm. he's good, dude. As, um, but yeah, bro, Dana was dope. Even after Katrina, when they had that fence under the pier. Under the pier. When you couldn't go under it. Yeah, you couldn't, you pass, couldn't go under yeah. it, and it built up like a nice break yeah. right in that corner. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Hey, I think... forgot about that fence. Yeah. Bro, Dana's changed so many times. Oh, yeah. So many fucking times. You think because... there'll ever be a little restaurant back in that, the Shake Shack? They're building it now. Oh, they are? They? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, it's, I'm excited. That shit caught on fire. The old one? Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. I have no idea. I think someone actually purposely caught it on fire. Get some insurance. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> they were like tired of it. And I honestly want to say the city probably had something to do with it because they were trying to buy out the person out of that spot. Yeah. There we go. I think that was actually owned, privately owned. Damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense by the vibe of it. It always it felt like very, that. Yeah. No, bro. That shit was a fucking like low key as like, like, I mean, it's, bro, that's just been there since we were fucking kids. Yeah, exactly. Saying, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's like, if you remember when, um, it's like asking someone, do you remember the water park that was in Oakwood Plaza? Oh, I wasn't there for that. But yeah, I remember yeah, hearing that. That's crazy. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a water park in Oakwood Plaza when I was a little kid. Was it there a Six Flags or something in here? So, too? no. So the thing is, like, um, Boomers was actually owned by Disney. Wow. It was a sister company of Disney. Oh, no shit. But, um... But yeah, there was a water park in Dania. And right, and if you like old school Hollywood, um, where um where's this fucking place is at? Um Dandy Donuts. Remember Dandy Donuts? Oh, oh, yes. yes. By the yes. Subs? Yep. So right in that corner used to be a discovery zone and a McDonald's. <laughs> Damn. Shut the fuck out! And now it's a fucking <laughs> office. No, it's a Harbor Freight. Yeah, Harbor Freight. Yeah, and then there's yeah. a don- like a Hollywood Donuts yeah, there now. Not yeah, Hollywood yeah. Donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not nah, bro. Hollywood's- so Dandy Donuts is gone. Yeah, there. that's what I was wondering. So I saw Dandy Donuts a little bit more like in West Palm area and like oh, Fort Lauderdale okay. area. But Dandy Donuts. But it's weird because, bro, honestly, there's still the same donut factory. Yeah, it's, it's just, just ho- what it's called. It's just now? different name. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood Donuts. Hollywood, Hollywood Factory. Shit. Hollywood just yeah. took over. Yeah, but I mean, they still makes fucking fire ass fucking donuts. Yeah. So um, back to the whole making food stuff. So since you like business, you like making sandwiches, you guys, so let's do this shit, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. And it's like, well, then it's like, obviously, the other part is like, dude, how do we become free in this fucking world, right? So figure out that shit. <laughs> yeah. So the real goal is to, is to scale it, you know, have people run it, and then we just collect a check yeah, or, or yeah. do whatever, right? So that's the real play. Because the real play is like... Not to uh, like run a business, but to create them, right? And so this is just like kind of like a jumping off point of like how to create a business infrastructure, the possibility, and then like to help other people like build right, businesses I feel as like, well. Mm-hmm. I mean, this cheesesteak is like one of the best fucking subs ever. Yeah, and there's not that many fucking fire ones around here. It's exactly it's, what we thought how it came to it. And yeah. The only one I really know is the one by you know the one towards the um the Dolphin Stadium Mm-mm. Sub City. Mm-mm. It's right on. So instead of going when you go to Ives there, you go to the right. And it's on 441. But that's like an old school legendary sub shop, bro. Yeah. And their Philly cheesesteaks are probably one of the best. I was like, damn, we should do a blind test. <laughs> so, but I already had one the other day. So that's where, though, I don't want to get it twisted. We're not a Philly. Mm-hmm. We're a steak sandwich. Now, because those Phillies, they all have yeah, those yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flavor on mine is going to be... It's going to be different than a Philly. Because uh, so a Philly, what kind of meat do they actually use? It's all. It's essentially the same meat. You know, you're putting in a Philly. You know, the onions, mushrooms, peppers. Yeah, yeah. You know, yada yada yada. But the cheese and everything like that, we do a whole different combination. Then our seasoning okay. is a little different. So it's going to mm-hmm. be. Hell yeah. yeah. You know, I'm I don't excited. want people to think, because they no, hear no, Philly no. cheesesteak, they're like, oh, the cheese no, whiz. No, 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 no. And that's like... honestly, dude, I do think <clears> about it now. Is like, you, honestly, a lot of cheesesteaks don't have the whiz here. Yeah. 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 That's literally a Philly thing. Mm-hmm. Now, honestly, don't fuck with that weird shit. No, uh, it's just like it's just weird, bro. It's just two cheese. Like. It's 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 good. We actually um we flew to Philly for a day, uh, when during COVID times when tickets were like thirty yeah, bucks, yeah, yeah. and we had like three or four Phillies. They were good. I mean, yeah. with the whiz and everything, they yeah. were good. But 
I mean, I get it. It is I mean, a you mess. Gotta, you yeah, eat it. it it's like all over you. Because I mean, I, so I do a lot of fucking conventions, and I would go to fucking Philly all the time. So there was a couple of times you like you go to Geno's, yeah, and then you go to the other ones across uh, the street, Pats, Pats, yeah, yeah. and it's honestly, yeah, they're both fucking good, but it's I don't know. Well, that's kind of uh, like what we were thinking. It's like. It just we just wanted good ingredients, nice and simple. You know what I mean. So like the whiz is good because we were coming up with a cheese sauce, but it's like you guys can probably make your own whiz. It, well, that's we, what we were doing. We're coming, but it's like then we just wanted real. So we do like mozzarella, fresh provolone. It's the so everything's just nice and fresh, and it's not like which we just didn't want any like artificial esque. So yeah. random kind of question: thing. What's but what's your favorite? Um, what would you say would be your favorite fucking local local Hollywood Dania sub? Oh shit. Mr. M. Mr. M. It is. Class. I knew yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this is going to Mr. M's. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Mr. Class. M's. Great, great time. Oh, you know what's funny? I've never had. I was talking to my dad about Mr. M's literally last night on the phone. I've never had a Philly from there. I don't think they have Philly. They, they do. do. But they, they have, have. I've had a hot uh, chicken Philly. But oh, I wonder, are they gonna? Do they got real? It's. I bet it's like steakums, like that frozen shit. Mm. I don't know. Or I you think they're taking? Know. Yeah, they might like be taking Mr. their roast beef. It's a classic spot, bro. Great. It's funny because that that one girl still works there. There's more, there's people I've seen there for no, years. Yeah. There's that yeah. one short black guy. I haven't been there in a little bit. Cooks there for a minute, but I know that place because Chuck Chuck Demato used to work there and TJ Carlton. TJ, I don't know. TJ, bro. Blonde. But, I mean, he used to think he was Irish until he found out genetically <laughs> he wasn't Irish. But he always said he was Irish. He was um little skinny TJ. He was um Shane's brother, Shane Carlton. I have no TJ idea. Carlton. Dude, I mean, they've been there um, for years. Yeah. And I remember we used to go there, bro, to a point that they were like, we used to like get free subs all the fucking That's time. Dude, they have the best roast beef. Their oh. roast beef is so fresh. <laughs> it's fucking So it's I used nuts. to tell them to take, they used to make a, so I used to tell them to cook the roast beef for me and make me a chase, uh, a uh, cheesesteak um, bagel sandwich. Okay. And fire, bro. Fire. And it tastes exactly like the McDonald's, but obviously with good food. Yeah, Damn, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, because that was that's just our main thing. Because like we hand sliced the ribeye, hand sliced the the cheese, the fresh. I mean, the bread is made fresh that day when we get it. You yeah. know, the the chips, the our reddles. You know, which is hand sliced potatoes, salt and pepper. So everything. Are some real foodie motherfuckers. Well, because we were just like, cause it's like, <laughs> bro, we just didn't want to eat some stuff and like get sick. It's like, yeah. and like, so it's like a quality. That's what we were going for, it's, and that's why it's just so nice and simple. And you know, we do. <laughs> We doing this one thing and we just do it well. So when you take a bite into it, I want you to like, wow, that tastes fresh. That's you know the other what I thing mean? is like sometimes I don't like restaurants that have too much because they're technically mm -hmm. they're never good at one thing. No, exactly. You're just trying to push everything yeah. out there to make money. No, yeah, I yeah. want you to enjoy this. You see, that's pop. another thing that's cool about you guys technically as being skaters and even like as a skater and as an athlete, you're conscious about your health. Yeah. Where and then being kids, we you see like shit. Oh, shit. getting turning into men, you kind of start being conscious about what you eat. So it's yeah, like exactly now you like when you make your own food like this, like you're gonna put quality mm -hmm. into it. And it's exactly. like, what do you want to put your name on too? It's yeah. like, what do we give? It's like we want people to know that you know what I mean. We're, we're we care about this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean. That's why we want the, we want like the the like the, our booth to look nice. We want the food to be good. And with having Dania Beach all over, we it's, gotta rep. You, you know, know what I mean? It's gotta be good. You exactly. No, and I mean. You wouldn't want anybody else to fucking represent Danny than you guys. Exactly. You know what I mean? you know. It was like that interview I told you. This kid was talking about all this art shit, and I was like, "Bro, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> yeah. no, you kids are lost." Because that, and it's like it's funny because like this is really just an excuse to like. You know, do stuff with the city. Like we did a Dania mm -hmm. Beach event, which was sick. So no, to actually bro. work with the city that mm -hmm. you know and do all that kind of thing, we want to like sponsor stuff in the city and yeah. and, and just that's do stuff been like our that. Fucking motion. As, it, exactly. As we got older, because like. Bro, I, and another thing to put out into the whole conversation, your brand, that one, that one brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was genius, bro. Because he <laughs> remember dope. he was like, "So what's your brand?" He was like, "That one brand." And like, yeah. And we just talking about that one. He's like, "You know that one?" Because yeah. everyone's like, "Yo, what's that one brand?" It's and so there it is. It's like so genius. Yep. And like mine was waves over beaches, and it was yeah. like it just rolls off the tongue because yeah. it's like, bro, honestly, when you live, when we were kids, bro, yeah, you know, I mean. When you're kids, you shouldn't be fucking like that. But I mean, <laughs> the thing is, like, when there was, like you said, when there's waves, bro, bro, waves comes over <laughs> pussy at that time. So it's like, bro, I need to go serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, you don't hang out with me. I need to go serve. <laughs> Dania's firing right now. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go right now. I don't gotta go to Second Street. Talk no. about Second Street's about to close yeah. down. What, what, like Sur the Second Street Surf Shop. Really? The one at Atlantic? They're Yeah, they're gone. They're actually having a sale right now. It sucks, bro, because I was like, so my boy Josh used to work there, 
And he's not, he's into like, um, he grows cabbage and sells tilapia now. What? But I met him there. Was such a, that was such an odd combination. Because grows thing, cabbage and sells tilapia. So he became, he's a super, super hippie ass guy. And I mean, he always was, he was a surfer ass guy. But what he did is he has a bunch of warehouses and he sells fresh, natural, organic cabbage. That's awesome. And it's dope because I actually hooked him up with a solar panel company. And what he does is he has a bunch of tubs and it's all the cabbage grows on on crates on top of the tubs. Mm. And then he has the tilapia swimming. Under, swimming under the cabbage. That is dope. So the tilapia, he feeds the tilapia fucking natural fucking foods. The tilapia t- take a shit. They eat all the bad roots on the fucking, on the cabbage. And he sells the cabbage. And once he has so much tilapia, he sells fresh tilapia. Hey, good shit. They good fucking, bro, that they, is crazy. they spawn like motherfuckers, it's bro. Like a, they're like rats of fish. A money glitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, they're, they're, they, I mean, they're fucking different sex fish just sitting there fucking each other and just shaking That's shit. That's funny. I love people that do like, sh- bro, like shit that I would man. never expect. And that they're like, like a passionate about it or like something. He, like, so you would think he's like, oh, he fucking farms tilapia. That's kind of disgusting. But he's also conscious about how many tilapias per tank he mm. tries to make sure the not, filters yeah. are clean because a lot of these places don't give a fuck about if they eat shit or not you know yeah. i need my tilapia to be happy when it, when happy I as fuck <laughs> before i take him out of the water <laughs> but yeah second two surf shop bro is fucking gone yeah. it's fucking nuts all all like i feel all the soft local and, ones like, like, but skating is yeah. up Skating is up. Heavy. Is up. And skating Florida is skating up. for that. Florida, like, yeah. Florida is popping right now. Yeah. 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 I mean, with, um, you got to talk about fucking um, Floyd. I mean, yeah. Jamie Floyd. And All you got fucking. That whole crew. And what's the other motherfucker? Um, Pedro Delfino. Yep. And then. And his, his sister. And the other one, Zion. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the name? Yeah, Zion Wright. Yeah, Zion Wright. Yeah. I mean, they're all Palm Beach, but bro, fucking yeah, Florida. Florida. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Florida. Like, Florida's up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like Kodak motivated all these kids to fucking, <laughs> right. like, rep. Like, yeah, they're all the dropping where parts with Kodak yeah. songs. Yeah, yeah. And, he, so he and throws he's rapping out, too. And that's yeah. yeah. And another cool thing about Zion, like, his dad's super cool. He goes to a lot of the events. Oh, yeah? And he's shot the fuck out. But, like, the cool thing about Zion <laughs> is that he surfs really good. Oh, bro. yeah. I think I've seen like, videos. Like, really yeah, good seen surfer, that. bro. Like, that motherfucker would surf head high waves, no problem, like. And then that's another thing that like likes like how we were talking about like growing up in Hollywood and Dania is like, bro, even though we're hood, like even like the black kids are doing fucking skating, listening to fucking <laughs> punk punk music. Like I was listening to some what was the song that was oh all American no, nah, it was an all American rejects. <laughs> Classic. Um it's an MTV fuck. video wake up. Oh no. You. What's the motherfuckers um rock star of the rich and the famous who sang that song? Like, oh, oh good Charlotte. Good Charlotte. Oh, so I was singing yeah. good Charlotte. That's and funny. This nigga Paige was like, bro, you really know these words? <laughs> and I was like, bro, growing up over here, he's like, even though you're a hood as fucking raised in Liberia, yeah. you're saying these fucking <laughs> But that's what's dope because like that skateboarding brought everybody together. Bro, so it didn't Breyer, matter what the hell yeah. you did. If you like skated or had that vibe or you were from Dania, like you you were good. Yeah. Like, you know. No, South Broward was such a dope high school it was oh, so yeah. because fun. it was so diverse mm-hmm. like dude it was the best insane bro yeah, it was and it was best. such a six when the blockbuster and all that stuff was outside and we used oh to hang God. out you know how many smoking tickets I got bro oh, shit. smoking tickets for $45 because I would get caught smoking at the blockbusters <laughs> and I was smoking black and miles at like 13 years old <laughs> buying them from the BP there was a like Quiznos there oh yeah Quiznos. two yeah. things aren't even in business anymore yeah. Yeah. we used to hang out at yeah. I think Quiznos went out of business yeah they did because um they had hamsters <laughs> making sandwiches you remember those hamsters the little like yeah yo fucking Nasty, but yeah. Quiznos was the yeah. shit. Yeah, that was my first yeah. job ever. Yeah, was it? Bro, yeah, no one right there. No, 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 no. Oh, I was I like, damn, there, bro, yeah, you were yeah. lit. That. <laughs> <laughs> now, now they're gonna get a Wawa. I hope them motherfuckers are ready for them. Bro, kids. that's gonna be crazy. That's leveled up. Imagine uh, having. Could you that. imagine when we were growing up, going out there and being a Wawa? Oh, bro, like, I would fucking. <laughs> I think they would literally have to keep like a oh, rotating right. employee. Like cycle because people will quit. Oh my god! The amount of fights we had, the amount of fucking, stealing out of the yeah, wall, yeah, stealing, <laughs> little kids doing drugs, a uh, lots of them, lots of been, them. And I'm not just like saying smoking cigarettes or whatnot. Like literally doing drugs, like <laughs> popping pills, doing bumps yeah, of coke at 14, crazy. 15 years old. Stressful. <laughs> yeah. The early 2000s in South Florida or like in ho- East Hollywood was um not a place for fucking kids at all. I do not. 
<laughs> and it's funny because like when I moved here from New York, I was like, bro, no one has parents at home. Yeah. <laughs> you always have latchkey kids. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everyone was like the boys' parents. Yeah. yeah. And then, then it's like if you lived with your mom, your mom worked night shifts. So it's like we're partying at their house. <laughs> and then once the mom was like, you know, I, I know you guys are doing it. So next person's house. I feel like kids don't do that anymore. Like we all go Hell and hang no. out at houses. Yeah. It blows my mind. I was mind. never home once. I could, yeah. I don't even know my mom. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know we her. We were just then. always yeah. out and about. Yeah. Yeah. I was literally life back Hop on the city bus, go skate and fall Bro, like midnight, ride the bus all day. Bro, t- at 14, taking the bus or the train down to Miami, Miami to go skate yeah. Civic and I shit like that. I would never forget yeah. the one times because South Broward was the one bus. Oh, yeah, the Central Terminal yeah, and then the, the Avantura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one actually took you all the way to um, Copens Road because the new Central Terminal is next to the, where is it called? It's next to the South Bass Road. Pro Shop. No, the Bass Pro Shop is the Central Terminal. Oh, you mean the, for the train? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Train, I thought we were talking yes, about yeah, the, bus, the bus. So yeah. when we were kids, their Central Terminal, the closest one was in Copens and Pompano. Bro, mm. tell me I fell asleep oh, leaving shit. Aventura Mall and woke up in Copens, bro, <laughs> no. at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. <laughs> I'm fucking 15 years old, like, oh my God, bro. How the fuck am I going to get home? Yeah. But luckily, my aunt lived down the street, and I just walked yeah. to her house. But like, bro, I was nervous. And I, that's when our cell phones are just basic you didn't, Nokia's. You didn't have I was them. like, damn, I only got 10 more minutes to yeah. call her. We were in a lot of minutes. <laughs> we took the train up to West Palm, and uh, we were skating white tops and all that stuff like that. And it was like the end of the day, and we were trying to catch the last train. And me, of course, I had to take a shit. So I'm taking a shit. I remember this. And <laughs> I remember this. The, the last train comes, and I'm, they're all screaming. I'm trying to get out. It takes off. So we skated and ran as fast as we could to the next terminal, which was, I couldn't even tell you, you know, how long. Going through the hood of West Palm. And we're like, damn, I don't know where the hell we are. Bar, <laughs> no, hell no. The other day I had shin splints just skating like a, a basic three-mile park. I was dying. <laughs> but nah, bro, like, that's another thing. I don't think kids take the train like that. I feel like they're no. Soft. Used they to are. stand <laughs> on the bottom, shit. walk up top when they would check the tickets, yeah. walk yeah. back down when they would check the tickets, never pay, yeah. just that constant. No, so like I remember me and Matt Henry, bro, we would take, so we would like, so Matt Henry lived over here by, at that time it was like by 26. A lot of us all grew up by 26. So I remember we would go to school, get out of school, take the train station at um Gar- on, on Garfield, or no, right. Griffin. On Griffin Road by the Bass Pro Shop, we used to the Hollywood, and then ride the train all the way to Deerfield, and then go surf Hillsboro. Oh, okay. And my mom would literally think we're at school all day, yeah. and we were surf. Bro, we're literally in in a regular t shirt with board shorts and surfboards <laughs> on a fucking train, and we're over here catching waves up there, bro. Fucking it's sick. Fucking and awesome. your mom's at work. Imagine like being a parent, like yeah. my kids at school. Yeah. Nah, dude, we're getting fucking getting full pitted. on barrels. Yeah. yeah. At like. 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm fucking 14, 15 years old. Yeah, yeah some of those sessions were fun. Oh, bro, surfing. insane. And it's even like back in the day too, the cool thing about like being around from around here and like growing up in Dania. So like since we were the locals, we were always there. So we're like, I remember I had friends that skinned that were from Cooper City High. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So you made kids, friends from, from St. Thomas. Yeah. And yeah. those were like the rich kids, you yeah. know, for us. Yeah. So it was like, we had St. Thomas kids. We had Cooper City mm-hmm. kids. We had fucking um, Flying L's, which was from um, Fort Lauderdale High. Yeah. Mm. And I remember back in the days, he used to fucking be, he was like, no, motherfuckers, you can't surf here. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. get the fuck out of yep. here. It was the same thing with Spoils. You guys remember Spoils? Mm-mm. So Spoils is by the Jetties by um, Fort oh, Lauderdale. The Jetty spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we used to call that Spoils. And I remember one time this kid, this kid was surfing by himself. Some punk ass kid apparently lived in those condos right there at the Jetties. Oh, and um, yeah, money for sure. But I remember he called out Matt Henry. Look that. Look at that fucking break right there. Yo, I was gonna say, what is the date again? May eighth, right? May eighth, twenty um twenty two thousand eight. So May eighth, two thousand eight. Probably, I would never forget this day because the fact is, um, but ciphering. There's just that I know that one picture that you're talking oh, about. Oh no, that's iconic, like, bro! It's, it's perfect nuts. barrel. Yes, I would never forget it because this it was like a perfect day. No, there was no wind. There was nothing going yeah. on in the local streets, mm-hmm. and all you hear is like you'll get. I remember the person who told me it was the second day already. Look, that one in the first, the first one right there. Yeah, that's Dania. That's Dania. Doesn't even it's make insane. sense. Insane, bro. Dania Beach. So I remember, I remember I go to Arthur's house and like, we're chilling and he was like, bro, you heard about Dania? And I was like, what are you talking about, Dania? He's like, bro, there's actually like 10 foot perfect barrels. Look at that one on the bottom right. 
It was breaking like that that's at insane. Danny B, but that's not Damien. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's way too tall. There's one with the pier. Like, there's a yeah, picture yeah. with the, like, there's no questioning it. Bro, and I got there, I swear to God, it was a perfect tube, and the wind was offshore, holding all the way down the beach, and I was like, shut the fuck up. And the crazy thing is, like, since it was perfect swell, it wasn't eating up the beach. It was, like, a perfect break, and it broke right at the end of the pier. Just long fucking lines. Yeah. And that was the last time ever. Yeah. <laughs> You never got it, and it was perfect because it was like uh, uh, it was a cold pressure, and it was weird because it was already May, but it was a cold pressure from the north, and the wind was completely offshore, bro. And I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, w- I never got to see it. I got that day. I remember. I think it was uh, what was that guy's house? Marty's house. Yep. Um, we were at Marty's, and they were talking about it. Because that's, that's um, out. back in the days, who used to go out there all the time? That old guy, Narnie. Narnie. No. Something like yeah, that. Narnie. Yeah, Narnie. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, OG. So Narnie yeah, was, was cool talk- as fuck. Narnie was, um, you ever got to meet Narnie? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. So back in the days, this guy literally was an old white guy, like born and raised in Dania. Um, he was diagnosed with cancer when we were kids. He had that house over there. Yeah. yeah. And he, I remember he had, like, it was cool. He would, like, let with us hang out in with the a front? surfboard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that house. He had a surfboard yeah. coffee table. But Narnie would, um... The cool thing about him, so he was diagnosed with cancer. They had no treatment for him. So the doctor just told him to just try to reduce your stress. So what he would use to, what he used to do is he used to go to the, he used to go to the Publix at Dane, at Dania Beach, right on Dania Beach mm-hmm. Boulevard. And um, he'll get all the old bread. He'll take all the old bread. He'll buy a 12 pack of Diet Coke uh, or no non-caffeinated Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. And then he'll buy a whole case of Mountain Dew. And this is how you knew you were like an actual local skimmer. And like, that was like our, your first sponsor at Dania Beach. <laughs> so like, cause, cause what was those two brothers that surfed there all the time? I, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I cannot think of their names. Cause uh, I was going to say, they even had earlier. a sister. I was had a sister. Mention them earlier. So they were like, they were the main kids that used to like hold down that spot. Mm-hmm. And they were older than us. But um, long story short, so after a while, and you would skim. And if you were like a decent skimmer, Nar- Narni would tell you, be like, hey, you can get a Mountain Dew from the cooler, <laughs> but he'll tell you, do not touch my decafs. <laughs> and that's all. That was the only rule. And then he would have old bread and he was literally like, you can take as much bread as you want, eat bread and drink all the Mountain Dew you want. That's what's up. So whenever he told you you can have a Mountain Dew, that's you when you, you were the local kid. Damn. And then, bro, I would never forget him. But he actually died like, I, I want to say heard. five, six yeah, years ago. Wow. And it's crazy because that motherfucker had like really bad cancer Damn. and he fucking made it this far. Bro. Yeah. But, That's crazy. But it's shit like that that makes you feel like, damn, we got to pass that shit off. The kids oh, he do. saw you know grow up. I mean? The exactly. kids he saw go through that. That's... Exactly. Because another thing the kids that he saw grow up is like, bro, we literally lived that era like we were literally like street groms. It's yes. really <laughs> we were yeah. like rats. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. it. Like, you lived outside. Yeah. You were yeah. never home just yeah. to sleep. You yeah. slam beer at a yeah. young age. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you yes. skate hard, it's... surfed hard. <laughs> Like, yeah, we were literally our own dog town. It here. was nuts. Yeah, it yeah. was nuts. Our own so ghetto by fun. the sea, bro. Exactly. It's straight up. And now we're just here living our lives. Being Full business. circle. Still yeah. here together doing stuff. I love, love it. it, bro. That's why when I when I, when you guys started doing this shit, I was like, bro, this is fucking great. Yeah. And that's seeing both of you guys working together, I was like, bro, this is legit. Mm-hmm. And the fact that, like, bro, <laughs> repping, bro, we got to rep. That's yeah. it. Honestly, rep. Yeah. Fucking, uh, honestly, bro, as much as we don't see it, we are legends, bro, because like we were talking about, like we used to do those sponsorships, like those sponsored events, mm-hmm. giving shit away to those kids, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what it's literally all mm-hmm. about. Yeah. And still trying to promote that generation, like generational mentality. Yeah. Because exactly. like we said, kids are soft, bro. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. Well, this that's why coming up, because you know, um, you know, Chloe, Justice's sister, they're doing that event, Butterfest. They do it there, their annual event. They're doing one May 5th. So we're going to go there and set up and, you know, we're going to like sponsor is- Best Trick and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. so come check it out. We're sponsoring Steak and Riddle Best Trick with Small Skate Shop. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, they're building it. So when ramp. exactly, so when are these events going to be popping up? So that one is May 5th. That's at um, Hollywood Free Park. Justice, Free, Justice, Justice Skate, Skate Park. Park. That's coming up. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And, um, it's you know, like I said, Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo. I was like, you said May 5th. I was like, hold on. What is that? That's yeah. Cinco de Mayo. It is. <laughs> so they're putting on a whole skate contest. It'll be, you know, at different obstacles, things like that. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be out there <laughs> cooking, hanging out. Yeah. We got to build a, like a nice rail that looks like a steak. Sandwich. That's hilarious. <laughs> that would be an Grind insane project. Yeah, that'd be sick. No, you just put the rail and then around the rail you put the wood. All right, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Let's do that's it. That's it. That'd be genius. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I mean, that's really what this is all about, I think. I don't know, just paying it forward like to the shit that I don't know. Cause I feel like we especially at that park and in that, like, I don't know. I don't know if any of us would have been who we are without all that type of stuff. You no, know bro, it definitely made us. I mean, um, 
again, it just it's dope to be like one of those old pioneers. You don't hear the type of stories that we get that we got to live. No, we probably yeah. won't hear it in the future. Like yeah. our kids, as much as like we talk about this and like it's dope that we lived it. It's actually it's dope that we survived it. Yeah, we definitely up. didn't have an easy upbringing. Yo, and I, that? And yeah, I, I know we got some. And I wouldn't want my kids to live the life we did. Oh, yeah, because it's yeah, it's annoying a little. But um, but it was dope. To, yeah, our life was a little rough. It was, bro. If, and I got like a daughter, I, so yeah, I don't yeah, want exactly. her what I live. Yeah, and I have a daughter and I have a son that's ready to go. Yeah. Like, I can tell my son, I was like, Bobby, what do you want to do today? He's like, I don't know. What do you want to do? He's like, shit, let's go, let's go fucking catch some sharks. He's like, let's go. And I was like, no, <laughs> motherfucker, chill out. This is not how it works. But um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick little break um, and then start setting you guys up for the... Let's for do the, it. I'm excited. Pick it up. So Some, you guys, you guys what these guys are it. all about. Besides that, um, guys... If you're ever in the need of some freshening up in your life and looking good, you know, make sure to holler at my newest sponsor, GP Originals, for all your sweet as ice. And um, enjoy this commercial break. <laughs> mm. I don't know what's up with my day. So stressed out, nothing's ever working out. Something needs to give. Pero loco, ¿qué te pasa? Dime. Dominican Jesus? Is that you? Mm -hmm. Es que, Papa Dios, I don't really know what's going on anymore. I go out, I never look fresh, I get new fits from Marshalls, still don't look fresh. What should I do? GP Originals, custom jewelry. I think you're right. Claro que sí. Papa, lo, la mejor prenda. Thank you, Dominican Jesus, for GP Original jewelry. Bling blau, bling blau, holla at your dog. Get your jewelry today. Use promo code LUSTLUST, your boy, and you know, get some discounts and look fresh or something. Originals, custom jewelry. God. Hey, um, <laughs> we're back live, guys. Here we are. I'm joking. I always like to say that I'm live, but we're not live, guys. This is a pre recorded show with a live audience. Yay! Look at the applause. You guys don't get to hear that, but I. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy that commercial break. You know, if you want to look fresh and stay in style in the good um summertime here in South Florida, how GP Originals. Look at all this! Oh, shout out to my boy. <laughs> We're gonna put the link at the bottom of the episode in the description. Um, you guys actually can check them out all the time by using the promo code Lust. L-U-S-T, that's your boy. You can get 10% off and shop and look fresh this summer, 2020, um, 2024, guys. It sounds weird, but here we are. So, like we said um, earlier, we're going to, we got the boys ch um, chopping it up. As you can see, we got some lovely organic green peppers <laughs> from your Hollywood Poblano, farms. Poblano. Oh, Poblano. Okay. <laughs> and we got some good old red onions. The, uh, I mean, I feel like that's, that's the most important part of the whole fucking sandwich. Flavor right there. But. Before we all start cooking it up, let's bless up the air, you know, build the appetite. We can ask right here if you want. But um, so, yeah, guys, so this is it. This is it. This is it. This I'm is a, a, I'm excited for you guys to try this. Yeah. Should so you, should you tell them what should you tell them what's in the sandwich? What we got for them? I'll tell them as we put it in. All right. Word. OK, OK. So um, I know you guys basically said that you guys well, you're the businessman. You're the foodie. So um. So yeah, so how, how how what made you guys decide like this this the steak sandwich is it? Who doesn't like a good steak sandwich? I, I mean, we were sitting there trying to cook something that we both like to eat. Hey. So uh ended up with a steak sandwich. So where was the first steak sandwich made for you guys? Like where were you guys trying all these ingredients, trying all these fucking in in Dania. Yeah. Uh back in my crib when I was back in Dania still. We okay, started okay, there, okay. So. Yeah, so we did have a lot of tests, a lot of test rounds, a lot of test sessions, different cheeses, um, different breads. Yeah, and all that. So we because it, it was like a two year play before we even did our first event. Yeah, right. Okay. So it was all planning and plotting, you know, stashing away cash. And then just yeah, him just kind of, you know, testing out what he wants. And you know, he was just able to just go free and kind of, you know, feel just what would be good, what we would like. And then so it was kind of fun in the test process, mm -hmm. too, man. This is kind of just what we came up with. Yep. That's dope. That's yep. dope. So, I mean, I guess you can. I'm going to go ahead and start. Yeah. Yeah. Start starting it up. We'll start. We'll keep asking the questions, having the conversation. So um, I know earlier we were talking about like your favorite local sub shop and whatnot. So what was your favorite like Philly, like steak sandwich 
growing up because I don't I really don't have one. Even Neither going down do here. we. That's what. But JB's is uh, you know you know JB's. It's like it's like a little food truck yeah. off of uh like 441 a little bit in Sheridan. That's like the only kind of steak sandwich spot there is. That's kind of why we came to this. That's why we thought oh, hot dogs Sheridan. first because like, where do you get a good hot dog Where from? do you get a good hot dog? That's the thing. Yeah. So hot that- dog heaven. Isn't there a place in um, Sunrise? There hot was, dog heaven? There was yes, hot there dog is. heaven. And then uh, what's the other one? Hot diggity dog? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> I would say, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not. I can't co-sign that place. Yeah. So far. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, um, the other day I was driving by and it's like, what's your favorite barbecue place around here? And like, some people would be like Tom Jenkins, um, Georgia, Georgia Pig, Georgia Pig, yeah, yeah, Georgia Pig's really good. Mine actually. So like, talking about old Hollywood, do you guys remember when there was a Charlie's Barbecue? Bro, I was just gonna say that. Now it's shenanigans, but they yeah, kept the barbecue. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's the same recipe, same the best brisket. Yeah, hands down. Yeah. So they still, and it's kind of fucked up because now down the street they got that new barbecue Joe, spot, yeah, yeah. Joe's Barbecue. Yeah. Like, who the fuck is Joe? <laughs> if Charlie was still around here, but nah, it's shenanigans East is technically Charlie's Barbecue. And what middle school do you go to? Olsen. Olsen Middle. You went to Olsen too? Olsen. So yeah, so after any Olsen field trip, we used to go to Charlie's Barbecue. Oh, yeah. And that was the spot, bro. And I remember when Shenanigans bought it, I was like, damn, I hope it's the same thing. And it is. Honestly, I'm I'm glad that we get to keep some of the stuff that we've always fucking kind of loved here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So what you got going on over there, bro? So I'm putting down some of the poblano peppers and red onions. I'll okay. start to saute them. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to get the meat down after that. Okay, okay, okay. And um, so when so how did it go about with you guys deciding what kind of meat you want, like, or like what kind of cut or where do you get your meat from and all that? It's like trial and error as well. Kinda, and uh, we kind of just went you know straight to ribeye. Um, we know that that's a classic yeah steak for a steak sandwich, and it's a good cut of meat, especially when you get you know a nice. I got you. You know, hunk. So and then what do you guys decide for the sub then, like for the actual bread? Oh. I mean that's a that's a spot like it's like a bakery we get it from. It's okay. like yeah yeah so we but get it, it from like a spot. The, so it's like a do you guys have like a it's like the classic sub, hoagie bread? Yeah, it's yes. like a I don't know about if it's classic to a Philly cheesesteak itself, but I mean because yeah. what the Philly cheesesteak uses what kind of bread? It's like a more water dough, isn't it? Or is the same um, bread that you guys use now? I'd be lying if I knew what the actual yeah, Philly uses. No idea. Me neither. I feel like it's just a very water bread kind. What is that? But um. So besides the uh, besides the the event you guys have on um, Cinco de Mayo, mm-hmm. um, what other events do you guys usually like to do? We got another one coming up in May um, May eleventh at Dania Beach. So it's another Dania Beach event, the Taste of Dania at the City Hall at over at the City Hall. Um, so that's gonna be a sick one, you know, working in Dania. It should be our last one was great. They had like a band. It, it was it was really. It's solid. like one of those cook um, um seafood festival cookout things. Yeah, they had a they had one recently, but yeah, some, I think it's gonna be something you can you know sample a bunch of whole different food. Look you know, look at that. Damn! Wow, <laughs> you getting a close up of this? <laughs> this shit looks lively. But um, so how do these? How, like so, how basically do people like get like book you guys and find you guys? Well, they can you know find us on Instagram steak underscore reddle. Or, you know, see where we're going to be throughout the months. And then, yeah, man, just hit us up, DM us, or just catch us at the events. That's really where we're going to be at. And then for the most part, like, for you guys, how do you guys look up these events? You guys kind of, like, just approach them and then... um... Yeah, so, I mean, we had to just, yeah, found some, found one. And then some of the production people, they have multiple events that they do. Didn't you guys just do one um, in downtown Hollywood recently? Downtown Fort Lauderdale. We do downtown Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I remember I saw one on... But you guys never did one downtown Hollywood at we, all? We were gonna, but something happened. We yeah, were we're gonna do one for uh, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I felt like I saw you guys, like, I thought, because I saw a bunch of, like, locals, but I'm sure you, you guys have a bunch of locals following you guys at this point, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all the, the homies, homies always coming to show love. That's the best part about it. It's like an excuse for homies to come and say what's up. Like, there's people we haven't seen in 10 years, but it's I like an excuse for them just to come and, like, say what's up. So that's really the cool part about it. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. So, um, what other things you guys got fucking playing out with this? I mean, well, other than the steak sandwich, it comes with like normally we didn't bring them now because we make homemade chips, our reddles. That's what so it's a side of reddles. It's literally just sliced potatoes, salt and pepper. So you know what's in it, you know, nice and easy. But we didn't we didn't bring them today. Sorry. So about the na- no, that's no, all good, man. Yeah, that's fucking dope as shit. So um, so what made you guys even decide to make your chips like that in the first place? That's all into the whole the whole quality thing. It, exactly, is we just wanted to because we have scratch kitchen. You know what I mean. We can't say it if, if we're not making you know the things. So, so who who was the one that made up the name? 
I mean, we we came up with it. You know, the name is like yeah. the hardest part. Always. So because you like, can't really start a business without a name. Exactly. And then you don't want to. You know, if you you can't look for the perfect name, you'll be thinking forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just something that we came up with. And Reddle is just like what we call chips, right? Yeah. So and and then it just kind of came together. Is that yeah. Like a northern term terminology? It, no, called? it's not. It's not. I never heard of that in my life. Uh, yeah. Now you just start saying it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I> mean, <laughs> It's a great idea, dude. I yeah. fucking love it. And like I said, when I fucking saw you guys doing this shit, I was like, bro, I've been dying for this stuff, bro. That's I'm fucking up. ready for this shit. Like, I've seen so many videos. I've seen so many people post it and all that stuff. I've seen your guys' skits. And where's the skits <laughs> come from? Who's the, who's the master planner on that? We have a buddy. Yeah, our buddy, John, Blue Note Media. He's like, he does all that stuff. Like he has a business that he, you know, does that. So it's kind of like this connecting with other people that are doing things and just trying to like work together. So, you know, shout him out. He comes up with them. He's wrote, written the scripts, yeah. you know, directed it. Yeah. So it's pretty sick, man. No, yeah. you guys are really good actors though. Oh yeah. Right. Well, you no, guys no. Are fucking legit. <laughs> I mean, you're better than uh, we are. I mean, half the time we can't stop fucking laughing. Bro, bro. I mean, come on. You can imagine how much like, uh, yeah, I bet. But like. Bro, those kids, like, especially the one with, like I said, that whole agent thing that you guys had. Uh -huh. I was like, bro, this is legit. That's what's like up. Like, the, the close-ups and all the scenic, like, parts and all that. No, nah, he did a good job, man. That's And then we think, because we love dumb stuff and funny stuff, and we think that the production value adds to the joke. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. so ridiculous. Why are you putting this much That's like, even when we, do, when we do our skits, I always, like, I try to keep it very Chappelle and SNL. Yeah, yeah. Because they still laugh. Yeah, in the middle of being serious. Exactly, exactly. Because there's so. sometimes like, and I love it in SNL. You can tell them when it's a good joke because they're like yes. holding it. You love when that yeah. happens. Yeah, I love that shit because like to see actors like be humans. Exactly, it's a great feeling, bro. Yeah. I fucking love it, dude. This fucking looks amazing. Yeah, like what do you think about that? How does it smell? You think it smells good, uh -huh. huh? I mean, I wish we had the smell of vision on right now, but um, well, it tastes even it's, better. No, it smells really good. I mean, I'm a meat guy, and even like the meat quality to me already looks fucking great. There we go. Um, I was just talking about that earlier. Like, I don't, as a guy and older, I really don't trust any of the meat in the market anymore. Exactly. Why? It's exactly. Questionable. What we put into this. You know what I mean? That, so do we. So it's almost like it, we got the same mind about it. No, that's awesome, bro. And honestly, in the future, when I start getting, um, I want to start my own butchery kind of thing. Like with it. Like, Cause we got, I, we got a new meat plug, I guess. Nah, bro. Because um, I want to start getting more gear. I'm gonna start raising my own goats. I'm gonna start raising like. Oh, what? That's awesome. Where? I already hunt ducks. What? So it's like, bro. I want to hunt ducks. Yeah, I love fucking hunting duck. And duck, honestly, I call it like the venison of the sky, bro. Because Did you it's literally... that term. Did you coin that? Did the people call it that? No, nah, I call it. That's what's up. Okay. It's literally to me. It's called the venison of the sky, bro. Because it's literally like a mini fucking steak. And it, and you can't overcook it because then it just turns gamey and shit. So it's nice and like, Harley, it's nice and like buttery. Like I, li I like to make like natural, like chopped peppers, onions, some garlic and just glaze it over it, bro. Fucking so yeah. good. I know you'd be whipping up too. Maybe you and Tyler need to do like a little steak sandwich twist on it or something, you yeah, know? Bro. Call it all the love sandwich. There we go. Make it real lovely. Exactly. Look at that. Look at that. The magic. Nico, are you getting close to this? <laughs> so i can see that you really love this bro i'm glad and i'm sure seeing all those fucking people smiling fucking enjoying your fucking food bro that's the best part of fucking cooking bro Dude, the the reviews the people that come back and show love and um, another thing is that you can't fake when you enjoy something like you know people lie all the time like mm -hmm. there's so many people that ask me like yo do you think my painting's good and i'm like yeah it's good but you can't lie a bite. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. like you can, oh, and it's nigga, like, this is bad. And they have no reason, <laughs> no reason to come back. Yeah. And like, they'll be like, yo, this is yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so good. Yeah, so this like, man, this man kills it. It's insane. Nice it smells really good in yeah. here, guys. I hope you guys are ready. Yeah. They're only here because of me, guys. So thank me. <laughs> All right. Thank me for the soap. I'm joking. Thank them. Thank my boys one time. But, um, bro, this is awesome. This is awesome. Fucking. Definitely. I'm over, I'm over here admiring, admiring the fucking chef for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this man work. Nah, so, you know what I was thinking? It would be cool, like, if um, Danny Beach even had, like, actual events. Dude, you know what I want to start? So, talking about sponsoring events. So, I have a wench machine. I want to start, like, doing wench competitions on the beach. Sure. Like, there's nothing going on in Danny Beach. Yeah. And like I said, the surf oh. culture is kind of, like, dying out. And if you can set up my wench, even, like, on Whiskey Creek, bro, which... Bro, uh, the other day, I don't know if you guys still go. You guys still go to Danny? You go to Danny Beach? I was there the other day. 
Were you there last weekend? There was kids on last the wing. Weekend, I was. Yeah. There was a kid that took jumped the ramp on Whiskey no Creek way. and literally aired it and landed it perfectly. Shit. I was like, bro, that's so dope. Damn. And it's funny because like back when we were kids, like we were wenching off of like um trailer hitches. You know, like the trailer had a winch and it'll pull you, or we had like a some weird like half ass machine, but the new the rubber like that rubber like oh yeah, the rubber band. Yeah, yeah, like go that all the way. That shit was sick. Bro, it was insane. And now we actually have full on winches. That's I was imagining when you said winch the the big rubber the big rubber. Hand. This shit's about to. Are we good? Are we good? But um, so. So besides this, um, I know you guys have. What do you guys do other than making mistakes, bro? I mean, what's, I'm, what's what's your what's what's a day in the life of you, of you right now? Bro? My normal job is I do like I work in like real estate investing. Okay, yeah, okay. So, I mean, we just like buy and sell houses. You know, so how often do you guys even link up to do this? We've been doing events once a week as of now. Yeah. So oh gonna, yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to you know scale that you know as much as we can. So just getting consistent events and all that kind of thing. So are you guys tired of eating? Um, how often do you guys eat a cheesesteak? Oh yeah, I'm already tired. That's why I was like, bro, these are for you. Yeah, we're good, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get, you can get tired of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, you know, experimenting and shit. Uh, um, have you guys been even experimenting lately or not? Yeah, Tyler's been trying to come up with uh, a new sandwich that we're gonna bring over to the to the Dania Beach event. Yeah. May 11th, we'll have something new. Yeah. Okay. You know, you guys should probably make like a, some po boys, like <laughs> actual funny po boy. That's funny that you bring. Yeah, that's funny that you say that. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I feel like that's another fucking thing. Yeah. And you guys eventually plan on to like have a nice, like a nice little like spot in the near future. Maybe, maybe to see how this goes, and then to see like maybe a truck, maybe after that. But it, I don't know. So don't you know. guys think we would do a truck before you do like a little like storefront? I don't know. It would probably be like try to do more events and then. Just scale the scale, maybe scale the events. I don't know. Yeah, because the storefront, honestly, like you would want it to not lose like the quality. And exactly. Set. And that happens when you get to that. Exactly. Unless you guys are always there. And then that's Which not the point either. Exactly. That's not the point. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. so you guys um still skating or not? Not no, at all. No, I wish. At all? I can still nollie flip. Yeah. Really? <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. And when was the last time you guys skated? Me, it's been like a couple of years. Don't you got your daughter skating? Yeah, I mean, every couple. I mean, she skates. I don't. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I and have to help her. No, I hear that. And then, uh, guys, take it easy. The food's coming. And um, before um, I also want to shout out to my boy. Um, one time, my boy Chris, um, uh, one of our other fellow sponsors with um, Rich and Rugged. You know your your good old Urban Hoodwear. But a shout out, Chris, and um, yeah. Good people, check them out. Rich and rugged. Check out their Instagram. They got all. Oh my god, bro! Yo, my my brain is melting. Huh? Say it again. Two good. cheeses. Is that two cheeses for real? Yeah. What is a uh, uh, mozzarella and provolone? Like that? All right. Please explain all the ingredients on the box. I will. I will. I will. He's gonna tell you. Oh my god. What? What? All right. So what we got here, this is what we call our usual. That's the name of our sandwich, the usual. It's uh, our hand-sliced ribeye with poblano peppers, red onions, um, salt, pepper, all cooked up with provolone, mozzarella, topped with some uh, herbs and spices on our freshly baked bread. And usually it is served with our side of homemade chips, our rettles. Unfortunately, we don't have them tonight. I didn't want to bring the fryers here. But yeah, here we go, guys. Damn, son. Is this, this for me? There you go. Enjoy. Sick. Uh, um, taste test. You can't. You can't. You can't ever put. I always hate when people too. They put sauce, like they put ketchup and mustard on a sandwich before trying. And like, bro, you never even tried it. But this is gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot as shit. Steam. They can see it. I know, guys. I don't think this is safe. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The two cheeses where it's at. I'm a cheese guy, which I shouldn't be eating cheese, but. And you know what? So I didn't want to say it earlier with the steak sandwich. I hate it when they're sloppy mm -hmm. and soggy. And the fact that this is not soggy right now. And I didn't want to say it because I was like, watch this motherfucker make a non-soggy sandwich. Because I told him I hate it. 
<laughs> and you did it, bro. You did it. This is not soggy. There the meat go. tastes there fucking like real meat. The two cheeses. Hey. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know how much I can talk. <laughs> guys, here, you can have my other half right now. I know you guys are hungry. Here, George. Bro, this is genius. No, you can go right through the camera. It doesn't matter. We're good, bro. It is genius. You guys are making some good quality stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it. And it's funny because, like, it's definitely, you can't say it's the healthiest food in the world, but this is clean food. Like, clean. You, you at least clean know what you're food. eating. You at least yeah. know what you're eating. It's not, yeah. And you guys don't have no, like, extra crazy ingredient. Exactly. It's like, bro, straight to the fucking point. It's just quality ingredients, nice and simple, and that's it. Just like our old lives, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice and simple, like it used to be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how's fatherhood, bro? Tell me a little bit about that. Dude, I love it. Yeah? I love it. It's the best thing. It's the reason why we do all of this, you know, it's what motivates all of it. A hundred percent. And the fact too, like you said, like teaching your kid how to skate, watching them go through those steps. Yeah. And then being able to see, like, she can come to the events and do this and see us do this. Like, it's just really cool. And honestly, at that age, they like remember this shit forever. Oh yeah. She got the perfect age. There was a point in here. I had a fort for my kids. My kids will be able to like, if anyone walked in. They can shoot you with the Nerf gun and have a little fort. And I was like, bro, this is what it's about. Like, exactly. And especially, like, being an artist and shit is, like, the whole point is to, like, think a little different. Yeah. Have a little bit of fun. And, again, like, you wouldn't want your kids to, like, live the life that we live. But it's, like, you still want them to be, like, a little bit weird. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. we are weird, bro. Oh, 100%. Like, we're not the regular fucking Joe Schmo. Like, exactly. we might look like, I mean, to regular people. But, like, I feel like we definitely grew up in a time that... There's a lot of personality. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's like confined in a box. Yeah. Like we were literally taught to always think out of the box. And I was like, you know, get the fuck back in the box, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, girl, yeah. in the end, to share that shit with fucking your kids. Yo, I yeah. devour this shit. How's it? How's it, guys? Kiko, do you get them eating? Not just me? I hope so. Like Josh is over here eating all the sandwich. Like, why? In the video, you're going to see, like, why is there eight subs? <laughs> And the whole video, I'm still having, I have a piece in my hand. <laughs> you see the subs getting smaller and I'm still <laughs> eating. <laughs> so what other homies do you guys get to see? I haven't seen anybody lately, man. It's brought, it's brought a whole bunch of people that we haven't seen. I mean, I don't even, it's, I don't know. It's crazy. I, I can't even, I don't even. I don't even remember the last time I fucking saw you, bro. It's been a minute. It's been I know I see him randomly. Yeah. Now I don't even know. Where's the last time I saw you, Ty? Probably, probably when you tatted me. Gee, that really? Was a long ass time ago. Oh my three, god! Three, three years ago. Damn. Probably. Yeah, that's a long time, bro. It's time for a new tat, bro. I got yeah. you. Yes. I'm a lot better now. <laughs> so Fucking. Cool. I was talking to somebody the other day, and it's like, bro, even like tattooing since I was like 19, tattooing all the homies and tat, like, bro, it's insane. Yeah. It's like, I'm still glad that I'm able to do. It. I'm still glad that I can like tattoo the homies that I've grown up with. Cause that's like I'm even to a point that I've tattooed some of my friends' parents, and it was dope because they were like, "That's cool." No, that's the best, bro. Because they were yeah. like, "Oh my god, you're getting tattooed, you're getting ruining your life." And I was like, "Hey, Josh, I was thinking, I want, I want a tattoo. You want to tattoo me?" <laughs> I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" Damn. Fuck yeah. Damn. Yeah, tattooing your friends' parents is actually um, it's probably the weirdest random like satisfaction in life. That's cool. Yeah. Fucking dig it. Look at. Look at my boy chopping it up. I hope you guys get your sandwiches. Definitely check them out, guys. Definitely. Um, and you guys, on on your events, you guys offer, like, um, steak sauce, or that's disrespectful for you guys? It's not disrespectful, but no. We no, don't motherfucker. Have, this we, should taste good as it is. Exactly. <laughs> no soup for you. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> soup Nazi, bro. But nah, man. Yeah. This is great. I love it. I love it. Awesome. I'm glad you guys fucking Thank you so out. much again for having us, bro, guys. This, this, is, this is awesome. Really cool. I'm actually... Pleasure, pleasure to have you guys. You guys are um the first episode we didn't even have like a live cooking. I'm glad you guys are down. I know it took a minute between our lively schedules and right. all that other stuff, but like we we did it, bro. I mean, yeah. I'm glad you guys are fucking still do your thing, hanging out. 
Still repping our fucking hometown. Always. <laughs> Shit, we're never put a DBL, <laughs> Dana Beach for life. Um, and honestly, like, bro, we live, like I said, we live in such a dope ass time growing up. And even to be here, bro, is legendary, bro. Yeah. And then to be yeah. like, still have that fucking mindset, like, to know that you guys never just like submit to like just doing the day to day stuff, bro. Like, exactly. still wanted to like enjoy life, bigger picture, make just memories, keep pushing, to keep yeah. growing. Yeah, that's it. No, that's always, bro. I feel like that's the only purpose, bro. Like, yeah. even like when you were doing like the whole skating stuff too, that shit was like that. Even though like I know us as being who we are, we're very humble, but sometimes we do got to pat ourselves on the shoulder. We definitely got to think of ourselves as that that next level you know what i mean because bro we are like low-key legends of fucking dany beach in hollywood bro. <laughs> like it is what it is bro it's the yep. truth like again now they're getting a concrete park let's be fucking are you kidding me yep. like in in yep. hollywood you know like yep. everyone's moving here mm-hmm. like i remember when hollywood was just the town of hollywood florida now it's the city of hollywood beach and dania is becoming insane yeah it's, yeah. The, it's really? not even yeah, and I remember when I was living on Dania Point, right there on Dania and um, US-1, and I was like, bro, to see Dania from US-1 and see the ocean was never a thing. No. no. So it's nuts, because all that shit was like wild bushes, and my yeah. head is like, what's going to happen to all the monkeys? Yeah, what I was thinking, We're, the mangrove, the mangrove. Just tearing it up. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen to all those mangrove monkeys that fucking watch people walking in and out of the Motel you 6, cheating, cheating on their wives and husbands <laughs> with crackheads? And uh, yeah, where are they going to go jack off at now? Yeah. You know? <laughs> but no, nah, it's definitely great to have you guys here, bro. The fucking sandwich is great. I love it. I love the fact that um, you kept it nice, clean, and natural, bro. Like, yeah. nothing else. I feel like we get too lost on the extra yeah. shit, all the all the extra pitch sale shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, yeah. man, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. And um, yeah, one more time, just let people know where to fucking find you guys at. Yeah, man. Follow us on Instagram um, at stake underscore rattle. We post all our upcoming events and everything on there. Um, find us at Gateway Market on Wednesdays. Find us at Flagler Food Emotion on first and third Fridays. Like we said, we got the two locked in uh, May 5th, uh, Justice Skate Park, the Butterfest. And hey. May 11th, we'll be at uh, the Dania Beach City Hall doing a taste of Dania. So come check us out. Try the sandwich. Uh, and man, we just really appreciate your guys' support. Thank you. All day. Are they still taking Thank sponsors for the for the Butters event? Probably. Yeah. I need to talk to them, bro. I haven't done that shit in a minute. It would be fun. And I'm actually about to drop a bunch of brand new shirts. Maybe so it's about that Let's time. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. But thank you guys for coming out. No, I appreciate out. you, bro. Seriously. Yeah. Fucking love. <laughs> yeah. Fucking awesome, bro. But yeah, guys. Um... There's no performance. There's nothing. We just fucking ate some food and hang out and smoke some weed. So, hey, get the fuck off the show. Uh, <laughs> this is Talk About With Lust. I'm your host, Lust. And this is our first food episode. Episode 53. How at your boy? Horns, horns, horns. Follow, subscribe, like, like the button, butterflies, cakes, whatever you guys do in your weird sex chats. We love we love the blossoms, the bouquets. Hey. Um, and again, guys, all the description will be at the bottom uh, of this episode. And we out. Check out my sponsors, too, guys. Fucking show some love. That's it. That's it.